What's going on guys? Today we're talking about monitors again. Really today we want to focus on the LCD screen. We're going to talk about how to run your dedicated graphics and your integrated graphics to support both. Stick around. So a few notes uh, I'd recommend before we go any further so you don't waste your time. Um, one, check your GPU uh, ports on the back of your GPU. Uh, see how many ports you have to begin with. Um, most newer modern day cards that if you're looking to go this level, you probably already have three ports. Um, so you're at least getting the triple. I'm assuming if you're trying to go integrated and uh, dedicated, you're trying to go to a fourth or a fifth just to get a support screen. Uh, remember, integrated graphics is not meant for gaming. You have a graphics card for a reason. That's your, your processing power. Uh, the integrated graphics is just there to do light duty stuff. It's a monitor. Um, all I run on it um, is I've run some video and stuff off of it, like a, a YouTube video before. So it, it has processing power. Um, but remember when you're gaming, it's not drawing on your GPU, but it is going to draw on your, on your CPU, uh, and draw available resources away, whatever you're putting on it. So the less you're doing on it while you're gaming and while you're doing other things, the better. Um, so while I'm racing, especially on heavy intensive games, the only thing that's running on the integrated graphics is the five inch pie screen. Uh, and the only thing running is a backward app or a, a background app uh, like Z1 or something like that. Um, that's just talking back and forth between the SIM. So there's not a whole lot of heavy graphics going on. From there, the only other things you need to consider is your motherboard uh, and processor. You need to make sure they are uh, available and have onboard graphics. Not every type does. So, I can't speak to AMD. I'm not an AMD guy. With Intel, you can Google all their codes. Um, they've got like from A to Z and, and multiple mix. So for instance, I have a i7-9700K. The K signifies that it has onboard or integrated graphics, I should say, not onboard, integrated. Um, I believe the F is the same uh, as the, you can get a 9700F. It's the same exact processing power, but you lose uh, the integrated graphics. Um, there's other codes as well. Like I said, you can Google it, but K and F are some popular ones that if you're uh, not sure what you have, you can look up your specs or if you're shopping for a uh, processor, even if you're sure you're not going to use it, it's always a good benefit to have. Um, so if you're, if you're, if you're shopping, pick up that K model anyways. Um, but so check out your GPU ports, make sure you have as many ports as you need, and then check on your uh, motherboard and make sure you actually have integrated graphics. All right, taking a look behind the computer, you can see I'm running a 2080 Super. Uh, this card offers three DisplayPort and one HDMI. So I'm running the triple screens on the DisplayPort and the top screen on HDMI. So of course I'm out of space. So as well, over here on the integrated motherboard graphics, we're running an additional HMI, and that's what we're running the 5-inch Pi uh, LCD screen on. So forgive me, we're going to do all this from the GoPro because of course I can't run screen capture if we're getting ready to kill the computer. So the first step will be to restart your computer. And would you have it like any other time you go to restart your computer, we need to do an update. Uh, so we're going to update and shut down. So once we fire the computer back up, you're going to want to enter the BIOS. So I'm just going to tap delete during the startup process until the BIOS pulls up. Once again, I apologize for the GoPro, but of course I can't do screen capture when we're in the BIOS. So we're just gonna use the GoPro. Uh, this screen will be different for everyone uh, based on your motherboard and your processor. Uh, so I'm using an AS Rock. They should all be the same if you're running a modern AS Rock board. So you're gonna wanna come up to the top right. We'll click Advanced. Once we're here, we're gonna go to Advanced again. Then we want to come down to chipset configuration. And then we want to look, go down to multi-monitor. So here we'll see IP or IGPU multi-monitor. You want to make sure that's enabled. Now mine already is because I already have this hooked up obviously. Um, but if that's disabled, you want to turn it on. Now everyone's screen may be a little different. The main thing you're going to want to do here is go to Google, search your uh, motherboard and find out uh, integrated graphics enable. Uh, typically you will, I've seen this be called multi-monitor or integrated graphics. Um, so if you just kind of dig around, don't change anything unless you know what you're doing, um, but it's safe to dig around in here. Um, just try to find that and turn it on. Once you're there, um, we will exit 
If you made any changes, you want to save changes and exit. And now the computer will go ahead and boot. So once the computer boots back up, we just want to go to display settings. Now it may or may not already show up if you're not seeing your additional monitor, uh, whether that be two, three, four, five, six, however many you got. If you're looking for your new one, hit detect, and then this box should pop up. Mine's already populating. So we want to select our new monitor that we're trying to hook up to the integrated graphics. Scroll down. And then mine says disconnect because I shut it off so I could show you this. Uh, sometimes it'll default to any of these settings. Um, but the important one is, just like all our other monitors, we want to extend desktop to this display. I want to keep changes. And then there you see the fifth monitor turns on. Once there, then you can adjust uh, where that monitor is. Now it remembered a lot of times they mostly default over here. So since that is below my main one, we can move that to where it actually belongs and hit apply. That way when I move the mouse directly down below center, you always hit in this monitor. So and essentially that's how all these monitors work. Now of course one, two, and three uh, are all go as a single monitor. That's through the NVIDIA surround. Uh, so NVIDIA surround makes those essentially one monitor. Um, so, and this is my main display. So when I launch a game, it launches on the main display, which is number two, because of this. So by extending monitor one and monitor three, they both run off of this. By extending, these monitors, when I'm in game, run as independent screens. I can still click on them. Uh, I can run chat menus. I can run my Z1 software. I can run whatever I want on these screens because the game only shows on these because that's what I've selected as my main display. So while we're on the topic of the support screen, I did want to go take just a minute to go over what this 5-inch uh, LCD is. I get a lot of questions, um, and when I'm on the forums, it drives me nuts. I see a lot of guys um, post pre-made products at like five and $600 um, for a 5-inch LCD that does nothing more than this. It is just there. You hook it into your computer and run it as a monitor. Some of them will uh, sell you a pre-made software like Z1 um, that I run. And of course, it's not hooked up because the game's not on. You, you'll get a pre-can to that. That software that I run is $14 one-time fee. Um, so what this is is just an LCD uh, Pi Raspberry screen. They're meant for m several many purposes, uh, mainly you know home tech gurus. You can make your own little robots, gadgets, um, Nintendos. You can make all kinds of stuff with them. But typically, you take the screen and buy a Raspberry Pi uh, computer board and program the computer board. In this case, we don't need it. All we need is the screen. We're not actually buying the computer board and going through all that trouble. Um, but when you look them up, for instance, this is a five inch. You just look on Amazon, type in uh, Pi LCD, P-I LCD screen, um, and you're gonna see Raspberry Pi screen. So don't let the Raspberry and the Pi and the computer board uh, confuse you. All you're looking for is the LCD screen itself. It just hooks up like a standard monitor. Most of them are HDMI, and then you just need a micro SD or uh, micro USB uh, for the power. Uh, the good thing is they're relatively cheap. Um, my old one I used to run here uh, is a five inch. I think I paid like $35 for this. I used it for three, four years. Um, and then I just picked a nicer newer one up uh, for 50. Um, so they're relatively cheap for an LCD screen for all you're gonna use it for. Um, the only thing to look for, they come in all different shapes and sizes and brands. They're all relatively cheap. I see them from anywhere from like three inch uh, up to seven inch. Um, and then from there, you just kind of have to build your own case or mounting is the only part you can be, you have to be creative with. Um, you can look on Amazon. They have some very basic um, cases that'll kind of cover the front. And then the back of them get a little uh, hinky because they're meant to have the computer board strapped on them. Um, so there's where you got to kind of get creative with the case. Uh, because we don't need that computer board. Um, so, I mean, here on my old one, I literally just had some uh, old plastic um, that I had cut. It came with some bolts because you got some uh, computer boards and stuff on the back. So I just needed a spacer. And this was literally just Velcroed. Um, I had it to a block of foam that I used to have sitting down below my monitors because uh, my old wheel, it wouldn't fit here. Uh, when I went to the Fanatic uh, Club Sport base, um, I had this one just Velcroed to the front of it for a while. Um, but this old one has the HDMI out the top, uh, the top or the bottom. It can be flipped, of course. Um, but the cables 
uh, can't come out the bottom because the steering wheel and when they came out the top they were in the way of my monitor uh, so when I bought the new one the new one's just a more updated model more uh, streamlined on the back it doesn't have as much stuff sticking up and it also had a HDMI out the side uh, so now my, I don't have any cable management problems um, on that one uh, I 3d printed a case at work we have 3d printers at work if you don't have access to that like I said you can be something rudimentary um, I've also taken corrugated um, like plastic board uh, and a hobby knife and cut out and you can make your own um, borders and frames bolt them together uh, so there's different things you can do I like DIY uh, this whole thing is uh, if you've seen all my videos it's all DIY so it doesn't look as cool as a $600 micro uh, fiber something or other um, but if you're looking for something cheap uh, as an added monitor with no cost this is the best uh, way you can go so as always guys, if you stuck with me this long, thanks for watching. And if this video helped you in any way, make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you out on the track.